Just to go back to something that you said earlier about younger voters not being particularly enthusiastic, we know the young vote skews very heavily on the Democrat side around the issue of Gaza and Israel. And Kamala Harris had a rally in Detroit interrupted by anti-Israel protesters this week. Just have a quick listen to this. Kamala, you need to call for a ceasefire in Gaza. We demand an arms embargo and a free Palestine. Kamala, Kamala, you can't hide. So, Annalise Nielsen, even with uh, the Kamala Harris campaign deciding not to go with Josh Shapiro, quite possibly in part because of his um, Jewish faith and because of his views on Israel, there's no appeasing this hard left Gaza faction, is there, for the Democrats? No, and this is something they really have to grapple with. The difference is, if you watch after how she handled it, she was a lot more in control than Joe Biden's been in the past. And this is what she's been blessed with. This is this incredibly low bar coming in from what we've seen mm -hmm. from Joe Biden, especially over the last year, as he's really faltered on the campaign trail and showed his age. That's been the real issue. So she comes in, she does a decent job, and it looks amazing. And that's the enthusiasm we're seeing from people out on the road here. They're saying they're so excited. They thought they were done for and now they're back fighting and they get to craft themselves as the underdog in all this when uh, that was very much the purview of Donald Trump up until this point and including an assassination attempt if we remember that was only a few weeks ago this is all extremely fresh but th this is absolutely the calculation they have to make I and mean, they're talking about massive protests potentially coming to the DNC to make this point heard and this is very much why they ended up with a Tim Walsh pick, because he hasn't said much on Israel Gaza at all. He's going to be pinned at some point about this, not least in the debate if J.D. Vance is on his game. That should be the number one thing he should be trying to get him on on the, uh, the debate stage.